all the success that you had and all the success that James Madison specifically, you, you had a lot of opportunities. Mm. What made this place, Indiana, the, the job that you ultimately wanted to take? Do you want to get recruited to play big time college football? I'll teach you how. Click the link in my description below. It's free. Well, I really wasn't looking to yeah. leave JMU. I mean, I loved it there and I figured I'd retire there. Yeah. It was close to our family. Um, close to where I grew up, which was really Morgantown, even though I was born in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, I liked it there. Uh, my wife liked it there. Um, we'd had a lot of success. Football was changing. Yeah. Uh, as we all know, the dynamics yeah. of uh, FBS football. And, uh, you know, Indiana came calling. And uh, that Big Ten contract uh, that they signed, the TV contract, mm -hmm less than two years ago, really caught my attention at the time. And it became very apparent that the Big Ten and the SEC yeah. were going to be the two big players mm -hmm. in Power Four football. So, you know, I looked at Indiana. I'd been here a couple times before as an assistant coach at NC State and even at Rice back in 1987. <laughs> um, and really liked, liked it when yeah. I was here. Thought the campus was beautiful. I mean, I remember good teams, Mallory's teams, and mm -hmm. of course, uh, in 19 and 20, COVID year, they had a, a really good team. And and I felt like, you know, I've done this before twice already, these yeah. kind of turnarounds where a team was down and you walk in and year one just completely turn it around. And, you know, in my mind, it was a chance to do it on the biggest stage. Mm -hmm. Now, I wasn't necessarily looking to make a move. But, you know, Scott Dolson, the athletic director, Pam Witten, the president, I had a really strong feeling uh, coming out of our conversation, multiple conversations, uh, in a very short amount of time, period of time. This happened over three days. Wow. That there was a, a commitment to really get football going here, mm -hmm. uh, which um, obviously uh, the history of Indiana football it, yeah. it is not very good. Yeah. Um, but I firmly believe any uh, power forward program, especially a state institution like Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, that has the state's name on it, yeah. with the proper commitment, can be successful. Yeah. You know, with the right leadership and the right people. Yeah. So it was a hard decision, uh, but we did it, and then. Uh, you know, we got here and uh, 10 <laughs> offensive starters in the transfer portal and half your defense. They didn't tell me that in the interview. They, they left that part out? They left yeah. that out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, you know, December was, uh, you know, 4 a.m. to yeah. 11 at night, portal yeah. portal yeah. madness. Yeah. But, you know, it, in three weeks, we flipped the roster. Mm -hmm. I brought 22 transfers in. And it really had has helped us make, I think, very significant progress since yeah. we've been here. It's something you can't measure mm -hmm. because we haven't played a game yet. Yeah. But the the talent on the roster yeah. and the culture in the program are significantly different than it was yeah. when I stepped on campus. Yeah. 